Hello again. On this video, we're gonna go through streaming widgets. So let's see what streaming widgets are. Streaming widgets are special widgets that will stream or show information based on a membership feature. So here we have the membership feature properties. We have here the membership feature listing members. We have the classify here, we have the photo albums, and many more. You can see how they look on the front page, on our example site. Okay, you, you can see how they work. You can even click on um, local events, click here and view all, and you can see the results. But what happens when you want to configure them, customize them? In, like the functionality of them or how they look so brand directories now offers for our bootstrap members a simple way of changing various settings for each streaming widget so you can have the style or functionality that you wish most of the styles and functionalities that you wish on your streaming widgets Remember that to show the streaming widgets on your home page, you have to go to settings, design settings, home page layout, then go to home page section order, and then start adding the streaming widgets here. You can see I already added all of them. Okay. And next, we have the home page streaming widget options. Here are some basic universal options for all of them. You can see the newest articles, new classifieds. It looks like this because my page is rather uh, small, but here's how it would look in a normal screen. And you can see the amount of results you can have, the title of that um, streaming widget. Here you can see the URL that it will use. And if you want to show only streaming items um, with photos or with or and without photos so you can you have a lot of information here to play with but additional to this you want to style it you want to customize it even further so we can go to toolbox widget and simply search for a specific uh, widget in bootstrap sites we use the keyword reason and it will show us all the different um, streaming widgets that are being used. We have the, the recent members here, recent articles, events. So let's grab some of this. So let's grab members, which is the most extensive one that has, offers many options there. Uh, we have the articles. Let's grab uh, coupons and photo albums. And I think with that, we're set. Let's grab videos there. And the rest should be similar to the ones you're going to be seeing here on this video. So I'm going to leave um, members, recent members, as the last one because that's the most uh, extensive one. Let's start with videos. So we're in Bootstrap theme display recent videos. Here are some of the custom options you can now play with on the streaming widget for videos. These two. This two options here that say W uh, A dollar W A. When you see this as a developer, this means that it's calling for the information here in the in the design settings. So I'm gonna go to uh, the design settings, homepage layout, uh, streaming way options. I'm gonna look for the video one, and you're gonna see something here. I'm gonna right click this and. I'm going to show you here. You can see here that it says custom 129. If we go to the uh, code here, scroll a bit down, we're going to see that custom 129 somewhere around here, um, which means that it's relating to that information there. Let me scroll a bit this way, and you can see it here custom 129. And if we scroll up here, we can see that the feature URL of that streaming widget, which would be 
uh, this if I right click inspect you can see that it says custom 197 and you can see the custom 197 here along with max items with which would be this guy here okay so these two uh, you can control through the design settings so it's not recommended to touch them or only if you wanted to make like the, the value a static value then you have the high empty string which comes true by default which means that if the streaming widget and most of the streaming widgets work like this if they have no items to show they will hide the whole streaming widget from the home page so not to overload the, the home page with empty streaming widgets uh, you, you also have only active members so you, if you want to show active or active and not active members you have this option here you can search um, members that you can actually see the description here show posts even if they're not searchable so you have that option here too all these options just in case were created by the feature wish list found in the forum and all these features were requested by uh, previous partners that wanted this on their um, sites and lastly you can see the most popular one which is sorting order you can sort the information by descending you can see here or ascending whichever you you like for your site so these are the only options right now for uh, recent videos but you're gonna see that if we go to another widget um, another streaming widget they have more options some of them will offer as you can see here there's at least one more there you can see um, search posts only let's see high posts without photos see this is uh, another um, option that you can actually customize from the design settings and it will show or high um, items in the streaming widget based on the if they actually have a photo already assigned to them or not we can now go to another streaming widget like coupons for example we can see that they mostly share the same um, options so if you understand one and play with one you basically understand the rest and here we are in recent articles same thing the, the same options apply to it and note that in the code there's a uh, fallback for images we've added a small fallback here that in the case of the of the members shown there or the information posts articles whatever you want shown there it does not have an image we actually call an image as the default one that's why you see this uh, no image here in the classify or here in the photo albums or in anywhere where that uh, the the item doesn't have a an image assigned to it. Next and probably last because it's uh, really long, it's the recent members, which is the most popular one used on all um, sites. Here you can see the the design setting options. Okay, the same uh, behavior. You change them from here the members here they are you can change the options there but then you have a whole bunch of options uh, around 20 options you have here um, you can see if you want to see only active or active and inactive members you can um, sort them by their priority in the search with what this means is that in the members uh, membership levels let me close this here so you can have more space to see the information so in, in the in the membership levels you have this option in the privileges you have search results priority the lower this number is one uh, two the the better the the more priority it gives to these members so what this option actually does is just sort the members in the order that uh, the, their membership level uh, 
has for the value of the search priority. So for like premium members, if they have one, and then followed by uh, basic members uh, with two, then uh, premium members would appear first on the on the uh, streaming widgets uh, recent member results, followed by the basic ones. Um, the sorting order, just in case. Uh, show members with services only. This is for sites that only want to show members that have actually filled all their uh, data for the profile, including services, so that members can uh, and viewers can actually visit the, the site and see the services that these members uh, offer. The option for only subscription IDs. This is mostly used if you only want to show specific members from a specific membership level. Okay, so just in case uh, you wanted to create like a recent member that only shows premium members, then you will put here the ID, the subscription ID of that membership uh, level. You can see the, the, the ID here. Like for example, if I only wanted to show these members, the four members here in the, in the basic, I would put three there. And that's it. It will only show the basic members here in the recent members. So these options here were for the advanced query settings. So you don't have to worry about programming in MySQL and all that. It would take care of itself just by changing the options here. For the styling settings, you have a way to um, show instead of showing the, the state of a member, you can show the city. This is useful if your uh, site is more local instead of nationwide. Um, you have the use service name here, which actually does a multiple things. It shows the um, service name instead of the profession name and substitutes the, the profession name for the service name. But it, you also have different values. You can use one for something, in this case, um, what, what I just said, uh, show the service name instead of the professional name, you have two, it will show both, and if you have zero, which would show the professional name, and would disable this option entirely. You can also remember that these are style options, so you can uh, make some information not show if you wanted to. You can show member position in the company, you can show member profession, you can show the member's location. You can even uh, add some separation between line separations between some information, in this case the profession and position, just in case they overlap each other, depending on how long the, 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 the names the, the, of the profession and the position are. You can actually invert the profession and position order if you wanted to, just so they look uh, better, depending on the on the industry your site will would use and you can highlight the image they they use with a little bit of shadow CSS shadow there and even box shadow if you want to highlight the whole thing and like always we have the high empty string here so if there are no members to show it will hide the whole thing lastly you have see the, the whole flexibility here for recent members you have the character text limits where you can actually tell the system how long, how many characters will, will actually show on the uh, streaming widget for the recent members, for the member name, for the company, for the service name, for, for the position, even the location. So you can customize this any way you want and you can show more characters for each part or less characters for each part, however you want, depending on, on again, the length of the members uh, names the companies the services positions location all that so you got a lot of flexibility here without having to actually program anything so this is something uh, brain directories offers right out of the box for all bootstrap members so with that said now you know how to customize basically all streaming um, widgets in bootstrap sites and you also know remember go to design settings Go to homepage layout, section order, and you know now how to add those uh, streaming widgets to the front page and how to customize some of the features here. And if you want to go and 
even customize it even further just simply go to the actual um, widget for them like in this case uh, display recent members and you can play around with these variables so you can learn how they behave and how they can interact with each other and offer better a better view or better sorting or querying of the information for your members so hope you like this video and have an excellent awesome day